I did not, but thank you. <laughs> anyway, here are the Group E standings. Ivory Coast qualify from Group E as the winners. Sierra Leone go out. Equatorial Guinea are through as well. And Algeria, the defending champions out of this one. Ed Dove was at the game here. What's the reaction been to that then, Ed? Algeria out. Well, obviously, there's massive shock. I mean, not only did Algeria come here as reigning champions, but they also came here with a 34-game undefeated streak. Obviously, that was ended against Equatorial Guinea. They still had a chance to turn things around against Ivory Coast in their final group game, but they started slowly. They were unconvincing and 3-0 down. They left themselves with far too much to do. Uh, Ed, I'd just like to talk to you then about looking ahead now. Ivory Coast tied, uh, tied the round, sorry. In the last 16, they'll be taking on Egypt. There's got to be a lot of excitement about that clash. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of excitement here in, in, in Cameroon around both of these teams, obviously because of Mohamed Salah. And I think Cameroonians have taken Ivory Coast to heart as well. However, for me, even though they're two massive names, these teams have shown us really differing things here at the Nations Cup. Egypt have struggled to get going. They've lacked coherency. They seem far too reliant on, on Mohamed Salah. Whereas Ivory Coast, as we saw in the highlights, can hurt you from so many different areas of the pitch and are really looking like a very complete team at this Nations Cup. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.